Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. This is the first 2024 model on the channel. I'm so excited about this. You and I are at BDM Motorsports in Vernon, BC, Canada, and we're checking out a 2024 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT 1000 LE Ranch Edition. Needed to breathe twice for that one. Let's check this out. So this guy is going to have a 999cc liquid cooled 4 stroke dual overhead cam, 4 valve per cylinder, parallel twin engine. It's going to have a 92 by 75 millimeter bore and stroke. It is fuel injected, digital ignition, of course your electric start. It's going to have a dual range transmission with your high and low and of course it is a CVT so you're going to have your, your high, low, neutral, reverse and park I'm sure. It is shaft driven and it's going to be like a two wheel drive, four wheel drive type of mode. So as with all Kawasaki mules, it's going to have its ladder type tubular steel frame. The front suspension is going to be a double wishbone with 279 millimeters or 11 inches of wheel travel. That ain't bad. The rear is also going to have a double wishbone self leveling suspension, 256 millimeter or 10.1 inches of wheel travel. You're going to have power steering, which is a rack and pinion type setup. It'll come with some entry level tires with this guy. So you're going to have a 26 by 9 by 12 in the front and a 26 by 11 by 12 in the rear. Fairly popular tire sizes. You shouldn't have any issues to upgrade, but I would recommend going to something that's at least a six ply radial. You'll, you'll like it that much better. Front brakes are going to be a dual 212 millimeter disc with two piston calipers and rear is exactly the same except single piston calipers. It's got a dual disc mechanical parking brake as well. So, as far as road clearance is concerned, at your max preload you're going to have 295 millimeters or 11 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty good. Your curb mass is going to be 892 kilograms or 1967 pounds, 30 liters of fuel capacity. So this unit, as you're going to see in a minute, is really cool in the sense that the back seat can fold up and the box actually can be extended. So I'll have a demonstration on that in a minute here. But the, uh, the normal cargo bed dimensions without anything being folded up are going to be 560 by 1363 by 279 millimeters which translates to 22 by 53 by 11 inches and when the cargo bed is folded up so only as a three seater you'll have 1085 by 1363 by 279 millimeter which transmits to or translates to 42 by 53 by 11 inches. So your cargo bed capacity in a six seater mode when everything is folded up is going to be 158 kilograms or 348 pounds and when everything is folded up giving you the bigger bed it'll be 453 kilograms or a thousand pounds. Pretty neat unit actually I'm liking this. It's going to have a 907 kilogram or 2,000 pound towing capacity. It's going to have uh, two halogen and two LED headlights. You're probably not going to need to upgrade any of those. Full digital instrumentation display and a 36 month warranty here in Canada. Let's get a closer look into this shall we? So this model will come with a roof which is great. It's got a really good usable box like with a, a metal floor. It does have plastic sides, but still. It will have a two inch receiver. And the handle is just like the old Datsun or Nissan pickups. Toyota pickups did that too. It'll come with some good aluminum wheels, which is nice. 
you can have tons of room back here for an adult. And being the special edition or the LE ranch edition, look at the seats. It's almost too nice to work. Let's have a hop in it. Oh wow. Tons of room back here. That is so cool. Yeah, you could definitely fit four big guys in here, no problem. Six people if they're, I guess, normal size, not like me. Oh, this is so neat. Okay, let's check out the front. So you're gonna have the same cool seats in the front, of course. There's your emergency brake and a cup holder. Got some really decent sized doors. Not the useless stuff that the Viking will come with. Now, is there storage underneath the front seat? Nope, not so much. Maybe take a picture of that later. Okay, let's hop in. Nice. Alright, so yeah. Here's your typical Kawasaki display. They really don't change much. Again, it's fully automatic. Bit of a cubby hole there. A couple of power supplies, which is good. There's your winch in and out. And here's your diff lock, your four-wheel drive, and your lights. Very cool. Oops, other way. And I have a glove box as well. Tons of leg room. This is pretty cool. I'm liking this. All right, so here it is. All unfolded, or folded up, I guess you could say. So much bigger box, and the box will tilt in either format, but of course you got this headache rack here. So this roof has a seam right here. You would just need to unlatch it here, and the roof flips up, and then this will tilt. So cool. What a great idea. Also, what I'm liking about this unit, it looks like it's got some better articulation in the uh, suspension, and the numbers were very much like um, like maybe a Yamaha Viking or something of that nature, uh, which is a good thing, because uh, you, know, you will be able to take this off-road and take it hunting or go get your firewood or whatever, but it'll just be a little bit more capable off-road and a lot more comfort and stuff too. Well done, Kawasaki. It's about time you come out with something a little different, a little new. Well guys, that'll sum up another one for Canadian Quarters Review. So appreciate each and every one of you. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe before you go. It really helps the channel to grow. And pass the word around. If you know anybody with similar interests, it'd be cool for them to check out the channel too. So thanks again for watching guys. Come on down to BDM Motorsports in Vernon, BC, Canada and come and check out their stock. They got tons of accessories, tons of parts, tons of units on sale, or not on sale, but actually on location. And uh, with that, I guess I'm out of here. Thanks again for watching.